Welcome to the last video of the tool setup series. This is how it looks to mine words in a couple of seconds. So with that, I hope you're excited to finally use the tools that I showed you how to set up. So let's go ahead and jump into how to do it. All right, first things first, there are a couple of things that I want to change before we get into the sentence mining workflow. This makes things a little bit more efficient, as was pointed out by Lion in my Discord group chat. So let's go over those changes. What we're going to do is Yomichan and MPV. Go ahead, open up Google Chrome, go to Extensions, Yomichan Options, click Options. What we're going to do is scroll down to Anki and change how it's exported over to Anki. So go to configure card format. In this reading section, we're going to add sentence furigana. So go ahead, add sentence furigana. And then in this vocab definition section, instead of glossary brief, we're going to do selection text. So I'll go ahead and show you what that does. If you want to leave it as glossary brief, you can, um, but selection test, uh, text, I'll show you what you can do with that. Then one thing I forgot to turn off was check for card duplicates. So go ahead and turn off card duplicates on Anki underneath the Anki, Anki section. Next, you want to open up a file explorer in the in the address bar of the file explorer. Type app type percent app data percent. Click enter. Go to the MPV folder. Go to your go to your scripts. MPVacious master. Then subs to SRS.lua. Then you want to do Control F. Type in audio. Click find next, 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 until you are down at preview audio. Change this true over to false, preview audio false so that it doesn't preview the audio when you, when you add the, when you update your Anki card and then go ahead and do misc info. And then you want to turn misc info to false as well from from true to false. This takes off some more information on the cards that I don't think are too necessary. Then go ahead and exit and save, and then we can exit out of this file explorer. Okay, now we need to get subtitles for the videos. So if it's anime, it's going to be really easy to find subtitles for a lot of animes. So what you want to do is you want to go to kitsuneko.net. And this website was previously down this week, so I don't know if it's going to be up when this video is released, but as long as it's up, uh, you can search it up. If not, you can go to web archives, the Wayback Machine, and then you can type up kitsuneko.net and it'll navigate to here and you can click any of these links and it'll open up kitsuneko where you can download stuff. But since the main site is back up, go to Japanese subtitles and you want to search up the name of the anime in its Japanese name. So in my case, ReZero. Click it and then you can click and it'll download the subtitles. So let me just find subtitles for for episode one. Um, don't ask me why it's .ass, that's just how they, that's just how they name them. Uh, right click and show in folder and here I have it here. So I'll show you how you can set up a subtitle file. I'm gonna drag mine over to the desktop. So once you have your subtitles, um, you can go ahead and exit out of here. I'm just gonna give you a quick brief description of how you need to set it up but i have some videos that i made previously on how you can get all of this set up with links down below in the description so let's say you have the subtitle and you have a video you want to make sure that the subtitle and video are the same name so uh, you can go ahead and click f2 on your keyboard or right click and then click rename and then you want to rename it the same as the video name so in my case v01 all right, so now we've got the subtitle file and then we've got the MPV um, file. So if you go ahead and double click the MP MPV file, you can see that there are subtitles on here. And then I can also change what subtitles they are. So .ass or SRT, which is this one here, the one that I had previously. But if I press J again, if I keep pressing J, it'll just go through them. So I'm going to do the SRT one. But if you want to do the .ass, you can. This is what you might have in your situation. And I'm just going to go over a couple of keybinds that'll make your life really easy or that I think are necessary. So these are just the fundamentals that you should know for sentence mining. So you want to make sure that you're out of the MPVacious options. So go ahead and just click escape uh, two buttons. So R moves the subtitles up. T moves the subtitles down. So 
You can move the subtitles up or down depending on how you like it. The other ones are Z and then X. So these change the delay in the subtitles. This just, uh, you'll have to play around with the delay in the subtitles so that the words match. And this can be a little bit hard to do if you don't know how the words sound in the beginning. So you just kind of have to get a little bit used to it. Um, so Z and X and then R and T are very important. The next ones are nine and then zero. Those will change the volume of the video. And then, and then capital F and then capital G. This changes your subscaling. So if we just turn on the subtitles again, and we go over to one of the subtitle lines. Oh, a quick way that you can go through subtitle lines is control left or right, and that will jump you between subtitle lines or to the next one. So if you want to go back, you can do control back. And then here's a representation of the, of the capital F and the capital G. So this will change the, the subscaling. All right, so that's a brief run through of the keybinds. Um, one more quick note about the subtitles. I will be making up a follow up video sometime early next year, January on how you can get that all set up because in the previous videos that I've mentioned, um, I did miss out. I did leave out a couple of things and I have a more revamped workflow. So that video is going to be coming up. But now that we've got subtitle, we've got a video, we should be all set to mine from MPV. And let's go ahead and open up the windows now. And just a quick thing, if this video series has been helpful, if you could please leave a like or a comment describing what your favorite thing about the tools have been. And if you so inclined, you can subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content and follow my journey as well too. So let's go ahead and show you how to sentence mine. So with your video and your subtitles, let's go ahead and drag that into the top right corner. Then we want to open up a Chrome browser and then we want to drag that into the bottom right corner. Click the clipboard insertion shortcut that you might have made. Click the toggle, I'm going to clear the lines, yes. And then go to extensions, make sure your clipboard inserter is on. It should say on here. And then you want to open up Anki. So go ahead and type up Anki or open it up however you choose. It's going to pop open and then you want to drag it over to the left side. So grab the handle and drag it over until it pops up in the left side and boom, you have all of them opened up. Click B in the Anki window or click browse. To open up your browser and then I like to click added so I can see what Anki cards that I've added in the session. Let's do some MPVacious and let's do some sentence mining. What you've all been waiting for. With the video, click into your MPV video area and click lowercase a. That's going to open up your MPVacious options. So you want to make sure that the MPVacious options window is always open when you're watching in order to use the script. If it is not open, it will not use the MPVacious script. So go ahead, leave it open. The next thing you want to do is click T. You want to make sure clipboard auto copy has been enabled. You want to make sure it's enabled. Then you want to watch a couple of subtitle lines. So let's go ahead and watch a couple of subtitle lines. As you saw that last one just popped up in there in here in the clipboard monitor and I can search it up by clicking control on my keyboard and looking at the words here. The reason that mine is all bunched up like this is because I have my scaling factor for my windows set to much bigger because I'm recording video so you guys can see it a little bit better, but yours should be a little bit uh, bigger. If not, you can always bring this over to the left side and swap the browser down here. This is how I do it as well sometimes. So now you can see the full screen here. Okay, so now that we've found a subtitle, one very important thing that you need to pay attention to is when you're watching the MPV, when you're watching a video in MPV, in order for the MPVacious script to grab the correct audio, you have to make sure you pause. So you can't keep watching the anime, go here, click shift and add a card and then expect MPVacious to update with the correct audio. No, you have to stop in MPV in order for MPVacious to grab the correct audio. Um, so let's say, let's say we want to go to the last line. We do control left, the left arrow button on the keyboard. And as you can see, the subtitle actually is in here. So we have to make sure that that subtitle is in frame. So that means my subtitles are a little bit out of sync. So let's go ahead and change my sub delay to a little bit, um, longer. So let's go. What I did there was I went to control right and to jump forward and then control left to jump back and that's going to copy and paste each of those subtitles that just appeared over into the clipboard monitor here. So here's a sentence. Let's say we don't know one of the words. Um, we've got everything all set up here. We've paused MPV. 
let's now mine a word. So how do we do that? First, you're going to click shift or however you have Yomi-chan hovering working. In my case, I would just hover over and it would search it up, but I left mine at shift. So let's click shift. And due to the previous change that we did, selection text, what we're going to need to do is um, we're going to need to select what definition we want to use in order for that to export over to Anki. So now we're going to hover, uh, now we're going to highlight over we. You can do it by um, holding and clicking and going through left, or you can double click we and it's going to highlight it. And then click the plus sign here. So that's going to add everything over into Anki. Then you want to click on the MPV browser here. You want to click C. The timings have been set to the current sub. Then you want to click M to export it, to update the Anki card. And now you can see in my added bar here, we've got the Anki card and we've got all of the pertinent fields that we need. So let me just go ahead and show you what the fields look like. So here we have my filler spot here. Because of the change that we did earlier, now we have reading Furigana. And then we have a, and then we have the one line definition right here, vocab definition, we. Additionally, there's one more thing that we have to make. I just remembered. Um, so if you downloaded my Anki card formatting, I changed one thing. So go ahead and navigate into cards. And on your front template here, bear with me. I want to go over to the line that originally looks like this. It should have hint expression hint colon expression and you want to change it to this you want to change it to furigana colon capital r eat reading so now that's going to have this section here where you can now hover over the uh the sentence and you should be good so make sure you go ahead and click save down here in the bottom right corner and then now we're done with with the changes with that out of the way let's go ahead and preview how this card looks so go ahead and click it go ahead click preview so the Anki card is formatted in a way where you have the Anki, uh, the Anki vocab here. You've got the hover over Furigana here. If you click the reading part down here, now you have the sentence. You can hover over the uh, words for their Furigana. And then you can click this right arrow. The four-vo audio will play first and then the sentence audio. So this left one is the four-vo audio. And this right one is going to be whatever you mine from. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. And that's basically how you sentence mine with this workflow. So now that you've got all of the tools done, you are completely able to sentence mine. Um, a couple of things you just have to make sure is when you go to sentence mine that you uh, highlight over the words that you want to export when you click the plus sign. And then you want to make sure that you're paused when the video is and you want to make sure the, the, the video is paused when you're trying to export a card at the correct subtitle that you're trying to export. So you will find that control, control left arrow, right arrow actually comes in really handy because you'll be able to um, browse through very quickly. So it's pretty much one stop shop here and you're good to go. There's one more thing that I want to show you if you want to do online video though. If you are, if you're fine with just doing downloaded, downloaded content with subtitles, you can stop here. But if you want to do, let's say YouTube, I know YouTube is very popular as well too. This is um, how it's going to work with YouTube. So let's go ahead and find a video with Japanese subtitles. Okay, so Sanbon Juku, let's go ahead and drag him over into the MPV area. And because we downloaded YouTube DLP, we can play YouTube videos in MPV. So that's why we did YouTube DLP in the previous video. So here we have here. Let's go ahead and play a little bit of it. Okay, so we've got the audio playing and then we should have subtitles here. So depending on how the subtitles are formatted for the video, you can pull subtitles. Let's go ahead and do control right to scan forward. And one thing that you have to note is that when you're streaming content, it will be a little bit laggier uh, when you're trying to do control forward and control back because there's some bit of a buffer. Um, I'm not too versed in that knowledge, but you can see that we have subtitles here. <clears throat> and to do the same thing, we're going to want to click lowercase a, click T to make sure it's enabled. And if you just dragged in a video from when you already had one open, it's going to keep all of the same settings. But let's just say that you opened up a fresh MPV. Let's close out of that. Let's open up a fresh MPV. 
Let's go ahead, drag this video over on over, go back to your clipboard insertion page, and then this video is going to open. Then you just click lowercase a, you click lowercase t, and then now you have the subtitles here. Make sure your clipboard inserter is on, and then we can go ahead and play. Go forward, go back, go forward. <clears throat> and then if you want to search up things that are in the video, you can highlight over here. Let's do Nihongo and then let's highlight Japanese language. Click the plus sign, click C, click, click M. And now we have all of this in here. So it's not, it's the way that Yomi-chan likes to pull, likes to pull subtitles is it won't uh, read past uh, like question marks or periods. So now it'll just pull that sentence. And we've got everything that we need, so let's go ahead and preview. So now we've got the vocab card here, we've got the furigana up here, reading, you've got the sentence, and then you can click the right arrow. So here's the right arrow here, and then you have the, yeah, you've got the same exact thing that I just showed you, and it should be able to pull audio and image from YouTube. So this makes mining from YouTube very easy and very simple. All right. And that's going to be the end of this four part series that I had for the tools. And then this last one where I showed you how to do the sentence mining. So with that, that's the end of the series. And that's the last time I'm going to be posting for the rest of this year. So I'll catch you guys next year. And thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please join discord and I can help you out there. And I'll see you again later. Good luck in your journey out there, everybody. And happy new year's.